LaMelo Ball and James Booknight are connecting in practice early. They're setting the scene, setting the table for the Charlotte Hornets this season. You know, um, things like, uh, I mean, when you got LaMelo Ball, I mean, you always going to be on the up and ups. Let's just keep it 100. Can we can we just keep it 100 one time for the people? Um, listen, we all know what they got out right now. You see everybody in the gym, Plumley. you know, the list goes on. Kai Jones, the Hornets are in Charlotte working, ladies and gentlemen, before everything, before for training camp. So they, they know what they got to do. They know what's at stake, ladies and gentlemen. You know, um, listen, James Booknight is the key to this shit, man. I'm telling you right now, he's one of the keys. LaMelo Ball is going to need a guy sitting shotgun. You know, I think James Booknight, when you look at, and I stated this, when you look at this roster, who the hell is screaming a uh, potential all-star? Potentially. I know that James Book might become an all-star out, and that might be the long shot. But why can't he be a guy like a C.J. McCollum type? I want to remind the people, ladies and gentlemen, when C.J. McCollum came in the league, C.J. McCollum wasn't just no ready-made product. You know, um, you know, these guys struggled. And before you know it, you know, they they careers came alive, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my man, right. My, what, what I want to state to you right now is when CJ McCollum came in the league, ladies and gentlemen, the man averaged five points per game. Do you hear me? Ladies and gentlemen, five, the next season, he averaged six, the third season, season, he averaged 20. You understand James book Knight in his rookie season, averaging four points. I'm not telling you that he about to be CJ McCollum. But I'm trying to give you some optimism on a guy like this. This guy, CJ, was 6'3", Book Knight is 6'4". You understand? Both shooting guards, similar stature. You understand? I believe that these guys, and we're gonna, like I said, I think he could be a guy like that to look at. And I'll get to that later on in, a, in, a, in some various other uh, episodes we have here at Flight Sports. I just want to salute to everybody tuning in with me right now. The Charlotte Hornets, right? <laughs> you already know the roster. I, I'm going to get to the roster, even though we know it like a book. Um, the Hornets finished 43 and 39 a season ago, which granted them the 10th spot, you know, um, just sneaking into the play in. You know, uh, we all know what happened with Atlanta. It was another rerun, which happened uh, the, the season previous when they was in the play in. Things did not go over well, you know, uh, but let's see what happens. Year three, LaMelo Ball, you, you, you have to look out. You know, the man, I'm telling you right now, I believe LaMelo Ball averaging 25 points per game is in the cards. The man averaged 15 points per game in his rookie year. Second year shot at the 20. I'm, I'm telling you right now, 25 points per game is not out the realm of possibility. It could be more. I'm just telling you, I'm expecting a, some sort of five-point increase in LaMelo Ball's um uh, scoring because he's going to have the ball. Obviously you heard what, um, what my man stated, you know, the coach, uh, Clifford, you know, he, you know, he likes to play in the open floor where he got a lot of flair. They're going to be looking to do things like that. Lamella, you know, I, I told you, I don't, I believe that the minute situation that he dealt with, with Borrego, that's over, you know, and that's going to go over with what's the name is too, with book night because book night received it the worst. Uh, as much as y'all want to ridicule uh, what LaMelo was going through, Book Knight had it eat far worse, you know, far worse. You know, uh, it was just downright scandalous what was going on with Book Knight, man. I'm telling you, he was going out bad. You know, um, I'm telling you, I, I told you, Senior's about to knock his ass out, Borrego. You know, um, it's just nasty. The Charlotte Hornets got to get it together. You know, uh, they have to build from within. Ain't nobody just walking out this door, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you're not getting no, uh, it don't look like a superstar is coming in. You know, uh, they just brought in DSJ. We touched on that earlier. If you missed it, go check that out. My man Kyle Jones in his rookie season averaged one point per game only with three minutes. You know, I think all that's over with under, under Steve Clifford. Steve Clifford is going to use this guy. This three minutes is over. You know, this uh, going to uh, even JT Thor as well, this uh, situation with these guys going back and forth to Greensboro, they need these guys. You know, uh, Kai Jones got to be there pr to produce. My man Kai JT Thor averaged two points per game a season ago and only with seven, seven minutes. So clearly these guys did not get the proper look. As much as we want to ridicule the Charlotte Hornet young guys, did they really get a chance? 
you know, uh, I mean, uh, PJ is a young guy too, but I'm talking about the younger crap that just got in, in the, like the book nights, the Kai Jones, the JT. Are, are they getting a fair shake out here, Pauls? I mean, just asking. Just asking. Let's get to my man Bryce McGowan's. I think he's going to be a guy that's going to help out. You know, they're going to need scoring. They need a scoring punch. You understand? That's what they're going to need. They still got Kelly Oubre in the fold. You got Mark Williams, the, uh, the young center. You got you got uh, my man, uh, like I said, Scary Terry. You know, it looks like they're going without Miles. Miles has not been spoken of or heard of or seen. You know, we're going to need Scary Terry this season. These guys can erupt for 20-plus a night, you know. Scary Terry averaged 19 points per game, you know, uh, last season. A little under 20. He averaged 20 a season before, so pretty much consistent. Scary Terry has grown into a, a, a formidable score. You know, once he left Boston. So let's give this guy major credit. After he left Boston, he was 18 and up ever since. You know, so we got to we gotta, we gotta pay homage. You know, uh, LaMelo Ball obviously is going to be the catalyst. We, we talk so much about his scoring. So much. We, we hardly forget about the goddamn assistant that this guy does. I'm telling you, when you talk about a playmaker, it's going to be hard-pressed to find a bunch of guys better than LaMelo Ball. This man averaged seven assists. You know, with his minutes getting thrown all over the place, he put even though he had 32, but I mean it could have been spotted a little bit better. Y'all know where y'all know where I'm going with this. You know, um, I mean that I, I believe that seven assists goes to ten assists. Why not? Why not? I mean, he's gonna get an easy three. You know, you don't have if you don't have your your secondary scorer in um in Miles Bridges, Lamelo's got to have the ball times two now. You know, which gives. Everybody an opportunity because Melo always looking to find somebody. All you got to do is do your job. Melo going to find you. Easy. You know, we know this. You know, he has no problem with this in terms of assisting and things of that nature. So give this guy major credit. Gordon Hayward, they got some veterans that need to do something. You know, they, they, I don't know if they even attempted to get off Gordon Hayward's contract or is it completely untradeable. But the man put up 15 points per game. You know, um, hopefully we can get a little bit better out of him. That's all you can ask for Gordon Hayward. You know, seriously. P.J. Washington and James Booknight to me are the wild cards. These are the guys to look out for. And I told you on this before. These guys right here are due. They, 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 especially um, P.J. You know, I could see P.J. having a serious jump. They just lost Miles Bridges. P.J. is going to slide into that role. You understand? So um, just look out, you know, and I'm going to touch on that, you know, in the future as well. But look out, you know, for what I just stated, man. You know, the Hornets, if you're a Hornets fan, salute to everybody repping the Hornets and LaMelo Ball. You know, um, there is some optimism here. If you if you try to find it, there is. But as uh, things have to go right, and, but they have to defend. We talk a lot of offense, but they have to defend. And we're going to touch on that later. But give major credit to LaMelo Ball, James Booknight, and the crew. They're connecting. They're setting the table. The stage is getting set. The season is fastly approaching. Hit that like button and most definitely hit that subscribe button. It's Flight Sports TV. We're about to go live if we're not already. It's Flight Sports.